Hi, my name is Sandy Dorzier and I am a student coordinator for the Wesleyan Women in Science Tours and we're about to um, visit Amy McQueen's lab and uh, she is, her lab is involved in doing work with chromosomes in yeast cells and um, she specifically looks at meiosis. So in mitosis, you know it's really important for the sister chromatids to stay together until they're ready to be pulled apart by the spindle, right? If they didn't stay together and they were kind of randomly associating with the spindle, the sister for chromosome one would go to this pole half the time, the, sister, the other sister would go to that pole half the time, we get non-disjunction. And we looked for regulators that actually um, ensure that the synaptonemo complex doesn't form on chromosomes, instead gets put into the ball, okay? So that in, in the background of some of our mutants, they don't pair their chromosomes, they're still not pairing their chromosomes, but instead of forming a ball, like here, if you're missing some of these mutations, some of these functions of these two genes, you now get, start to see what looks like synaptonemal complex assembly on chromosomes, but they're not paired with their partner. And now I'm going to just put a little bit of oil on the objective. Does anyone know why we use oil on an objective to get high resolution images? It does, it, it allows the light to not be diffracted as much, that's right. So you can see the outline of the cells, right? Yeah. And I'll show you them on here as well. But go ahead and take turns looking at the outline of the cells. The cells are moving right now a little too much to get a good appreciation for it, but they move at certain rates within the nucleus. And it's, we require quite a bit usually from undergrads who want to who start in the lab. Cheese! Is it not? Oh, what Say chromosomes. Oh, yeah. <laughs>